Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. Excuse me. No, don't be afraid, dear. I'm not gonna hurt you. Calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. I'm not here to cause any harm. Shh. Skittish little things you humans are. There's no reason to be afraid of me. I understand my size can be intimidating, but I promise I only have good intentions. No, please, try and ease your trembling. I don't want you to hurt yourself. What's your name, darling? That's a lovely name. Mine is Rimzer. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I hate to pry, but, uh, can you tell me what you're doing out here, crying all alone in the cold? Oh, I want to know because I want to see if I can help you. Why? Well, because that's what good people do, I suppose. They help each other. I couldn't just leave you outside in this state. <laughs> of course I know I'm a giant. That's a bit difficult not to notice. But what does that matter? Ah, it's true that we're different from you, but we're still people. Aside from size, humans and giants are astonishingly similar. That's actually been a big interest of mine. I took multiple human study courses throughout my school years, and I'm currently writing a book about human culture. To say that we're similar is a drastic understatement. Um, <clears throat> uh, Apologies, I'm getting off topic. My point is, sweetheart, that I want to help you in any way I can. So please, will you trust me enough to share what's burning you? Oh, your family kicked you out? As in, they just left you on the street? That's horrible. How could they do something so cruel? Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. You poor soul. Nobody deserves that kind of treatment. How long have you been wandering by yourself? Oh, poor dear. That's far too long. To be blunt, I'm surprised you're still alive. It's very dangerous for someone your size to be alone in these woods. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry that you're feeling so much pain, darling. Hmm. Would it help if I rubbed your back a little bit? Your face just went pale. Why? Oh. No, no. Don't worry, dear. I've done this before. I have plenty of human friends and have interviewed many more for my book. In fact, I visit my friends' villages quite often. I know how to be gentle, despite my strength. Thank you for trusting me, sweetheart. Now, I'm just going to get a little bit closer. And with just one finger, I can... Ah, ah, there we are. Ah, there, there, darling. I promise it's all right. Let out your tears. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Shh. How are you feeling now? Ah, that's fantastic. Now then... Is there anywhere I could help you get to? Surely you are making for one of the towns nearby. Really? Nowhere at all. Hmm. 
My, this is quite the predicament you have yourself in. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Okay. Hmm, well, dear, considering the circumstances, I would be willing to let you stay at my home for as long as you need. Uh, Of course I'm sincere. I can't just let you freeze out here. Besides, I have plenty of space and food for you. Believe me, dear, you won't take too much. Ah, that's wonderful to hear, sweetheart. Now, come, come, come. Climb into my hand and I'll take you home. Oh, what's wrong, dear? Oh, don't worry. I've carried plenty of humans before, and not once have I dropped any of them. My hands are safe hands. That's it. Take your time if you need to. It's all right. Perfect. Now, I'll just slowly lift you up, and we can set off. My home isn't too far from here. Or... I suppose to you it might be, but for me, it's only a short walk. Please hold on to my finger if it helps you feel safer, okay? Ha, let's go, darling. Well, sweetheart... We've arrived. What do you think? Um, aren't you going to say something? Ah, are you a bit overwhelmed at the moment, dear? That's all right. Don't feel forced to speak if you can't find the words. I can imagine what a difficult adjustment this will be for you. I'm just going to set you down on the desk here so I can prepare a bath for you. With all due respect, you're quite filthy for someone so small. Little darling, is this dish too big or are you able to climb in and out of it? Good. I'll just fill this with water. Ah, and leave it right here for you. Is the water too warm? Wonderful. Oh, before I leave, here's a hand towel. It'll be plenty big for you to dry off in. Now, I'll just be in the other room preparing a meal for you. I'll come back when it's ready. If you need anything, dear, just yell for me. Ah. Are you finished, sweetheart? Your dinner is ready. Ah, look at you, all nice and clean now. (laughs) So adorable. What can I say? I've always found humans quite cute. I hope that's not too strange of a statement. Your kind are just so small and expressive. Ah, It just, it melts my heart. Right, dinner. I didn't have time to make anything fancy for you, sweetheart, so I hope this will suffice. I cut up some different fruits and vegetables that I had in my pantry. I wasn't sure exactly what you liked, so I prepared a little bit of everything. By all means, don't feel like you have to eat it all. Even though I tried to cut them in smaller pieces, they're still quite big compared to what you're used to. You don't need to thank me, dear. I'm just doing what I feel any good Samaritan should do. (laughs) I'm sorry, it's just... (laughs) Take smaller bites, darling. I don't want you to choke. (laughs) Seeing you eat like that is very cute, though. I won't deny it. What's the plan now? Hmm, well... 
I suppose the plan is to get more accommodations for you set up around the house. As long as you're here, you'll be dependent on me for most things, but I still want you to be comfortable. And then maybe I can take you on a tour of the villages my human friends live in. They might have some extra space for you, or you can stay here for a while and let yourself process all those big emotions. Whatever works best for you, dear. Are you done eating? No, it's all right, sweetheart. You honestly ate more than I thought you would. You must have worked up an appetite out there, didn't you? Let me take this plate out of your way. And now I think it's best if we go to bed. <sighs> You've clearly had a long day, and I'm about ready to fall asleep myself. Oh, that depends on you, darling. I can make you a bed out of some soft things I have lying around here, or you can lay with me in my bed. Why do you look worried again? Did I say something wrong? Roll on top of you? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Is it normal for humans to roll around in their sleep? Interesting. Well, I can assure you that I've never heard of a giant rolling in their sleep. Although, I have heard tales of giants sleeping so still that humans mistook their bodies as mountains that sprouted on the horizon overnight. If you wish to sleep in my bed, you'll be safe, I can assure you. Otherwise, if you would feel more better, I'd happy make you something temporary. Oh, in that case, let me carry you to my room. Oh, my. Oh, here it is, sweetheart. I'm going to set you on this side of the bed, and I'll get in on the other. What are you still doing over there? Come cuddle in. What's wrong, dear? Do you not want to cuddle? I thought humans loved physical touch. <laughs> of course it's all right. I let my other human friends cuddle with me all the time. There you go. That's better. Hmm? What did you say, darling? Oh, yes, yes. <sighs> I did say humans love physical touch. That's one of the few things that our kind and mind feel different about. Unlike humans who are very sociable, giants are mostly solitary race. We aren't exactly very touchy with each other. Most will take skin-to-skin -skin contact as a sign that you want to fight. No, I'm not a big fan of touch either. Oh, I appreciate the thought, sweetheart, but you don't have to move. I'm not sure why, but touch with humans is, hmm, different from touches with other giants. Maybe it's because your kind just reciprocates more. Even now, I can feel you nuzzling into me. Oh, my. Oh, don't be embarrassed. I like it. Maybe that's part of it, too. Your bodies are just so small that I can enjoy little amounts of touch without being overwhelmed. <sighs> I'm not exactly sure, though. My book. What about it? Well, as I said, I've always found your kind fascinating. I was hoping that this book I could share with my fellow giants all the things that made you so special. That, and I also hoped humans and giants can gain more of a hmm, mutual understanding with each other. Most giants are satisfied with you being terrified of them, as it allows them to be alone more easily. 
and I could say, I know everything about your kind, but I know the few incidents of hostile giants over the age have left you all with frightening tales. I get shivers just thinking about them. I can't imagine how someone your size must feel. Even now, when I go visit my human friends in their villages, the leaders always keep an army of soldiers on standby, just in case I try anything. Of course, I never plan to. But, you know, uh, I can understand them in a way. Although, after visiting so many times, you think they would learn I'm not a threat. Uh, at the very least, they could do a better job of hiding their armies. I don't think they realize how much of a view I actually have. Oh, I do appreciate your interest, but oh, can we continue this conversation in the morning? Mm, let's get some sleep now, all right, dear? Mm, good night. Mm-hmm.